Hello, students of INFS 327, Information Services and User Studies. You are welcome back to another session of the course. Session 6, Information Services. By the end of this section, students are expected to be able to, one, demonstrate and understand information services, categorize an information services as responsive or anticipatory. The key topics to be covered in this session are as follows. Topic one, what is an information service? Topic two, categorization of information services. Libraries and information centers offer a variety of services to their users to meet their information needs. Information services in libraries take a variety of forms, including the following, direct personal assistance, directories, signs, readers advisory services, dissemination of information in anticipation of user needs or interests, access to electronic information. A library information services must be in tune with the needs of the community it serves. To achieve this, the library must consider the following. The information seeking behavior of its users, their information needs, the services expectations of the members of the community it serves. What we are saying is this, to be able to offer information services the information provider must be in tune with the information needs of the community. You must first know their information seeking behavior. You must also near their information needs. And then the last but not the least, the services expectation of the members of that community. The second one is provision of information in the manner most useful to its clients. It's the ultimate test for all a library does. A library must develop information services appropriate to its community. In this sense, the library or an information service pro providers should take into account the following. First, the user information seeking behavior. This is important as it gives the information provider an insight into the manner in which the information should be made available to its clients. Thus, with knowledge on how users seek for information, the library can organize its information resources along that line. For example, a user that prefers internet resources will mean that the library will have to consider subscription of online databases, then the information needs and the services expectation of its clients. The need for information services. Information services is important due to the increase in knowledge in all disciplines, the increase in book production, the above result in large volumes of library collection. This makes it difficult for the average library user to sift through the large volume of available collection to meet an information need. There are certain guidelines that you need to follow. Some of the guidelines for framing information service may include one, the goal of information services is to provide the information sought by the user. Information service should anticipate as well as meet user needs. It should encourage user awareness of the potential of information resources to fulfill individual information needs. Guide two, that is guideline two. The library should make available user aids in appropriate format to help users identify items in the collection relevant to their interests and needs. The library should provide instructions in the effective use of its resources. Such instructions, for example, can include one, the individual explanation of information resources the creation of guides in appropriate format, formal assistance through thoughts and presentation design to provide guidelines and direction in the pursuit of information. The third guideline is that the library should actively publicize the scope 
nature and availability of the information services it offers. It should employ those media most effective in reaching its entire clientele or selected segment of the clientele as appropriate. The library should survey and assess the information needs of its community and create local information products to fulfill those needs not met by existing materials. Usually, before referring a user to an agency, experts or another library, information services personnel should confirm that the agency, experts or library to which the user is being offered can provide the information and will extend its services to the user. Our next topic is categorization of information services. Libraries and information centers provide a variety of information services to their users in order to satisfy their information needs. These information services may be categorized into one, anticipatory services, and two, responsive services. We should take the first one, as the name implies, to anticipate. We should find the meaning of anticipate. To anticipate, to expect something, or to see what might happen in the future, and take actions to prepare for it. In the same vein, anticipatory information services tries to forestall the information needs of users and make them available even before the user may request for the information. The aim of this service is to keep the user well informed and up to date in their area of specialization and also related subjects. Examples of anticipatory services include SDI, Selective Dissemination of Information, CAS, Current Awareness Services, Preparation of Indexes, Abstracts, etc., Compilation of Directories, Newspaper Clipping Services, etc. Let us shed more light on a couple of these definitions. The first one, Selective Dissemination of Information. SDI is defined as the system in which selectively and automatically compiled information about new documents is disseminated to researchers, scientists, and others who need these documents or information in their area of interest. The basic concept behind SDI is the matching of the information or document with the user profile, that is the user interest. From the definition, you realize that SDI is a highly personalized services, which involves notifying the material that matches the interest of the clients. The next one we talk about is the CAS, Current Awareness Services. Current Awareness Services is a process of dissemination of current information. CAS therefore alerts the scholars, researchers, scientists, and other user groups about the recently published literature in their field of specialization. The second set of information services are the responsive services. So as we did for the anticipatory services, we will spend a bit of our time on some of the examples of responsive services. Responsive services also known as the provision of information services on demand, and examples are reference services, referral services, literature search services, bibliographical services, document delivery services, translation services. We take document delivery services. What is DSS? DSS is concerned with the supply of documents to the user on demand, either in the original or a photocopy. It can be provided from own sources or from other libraries or information centers. A reference service is a personal service to each reader in helping him or her to find the document answering its query. And that one is the second type of responsive services, reference services. The next subtopic is functions of information services. Some of the functions of the information services we've discussed above are as follows. Referral services, bibliographic services, 
ongoing research information services, question and answer services, then extension services. When you talk about referral services, that is you direct or refer the user to appropriate sources, but does not provide the information directly. The next one, bibliographic services. You provide secondary information, that is books, journals, articles, on published documents, and may include both print and non-print materials, as well as electronic or computer-based materials. Ongoing research information services. Those provide advanced information about studies or projects in progress before the actual completed report documents become available. This is also called inquiry services. It offers rapid individualized reply to inquiries. It is often done by specialized information staff who make use of appropriate information resources, including the internet. And that is the third function, question and answer services. The last but not the least is the extension services. These seek out information problems of users to whom the service is listed and are normally not available. In most cases, the information is repackaged to meet their needs. We'll talk about repackage in our subsequent sections. So don't worry, you understand what repackaging of information is. Students, in this section, we discussed some of the typical forms of information services that may be offered by an information center. We also learned that information providers can make services available to users by either anticipating their needs or by responding to a need when it is presented to them by their clients. Finally, the specific functions of these services were brought into the perspective of delivering appropriate information services to information users. Visit any university library of your choice and discuss from your personal experience or perspective the functions of any three of the library information services that were useful to you. State specifically how those functions aided you. And this is your activity for this section.